So we moved to have a partnership with the vocational institutes around. St. Simon Vocational Institute is one of them, Wihimba Technical Institute, Nairo Vocational Institute. We invited the directors and the students themselves. We took them around to make them laugh, to interest them to what we are doing. Then we made an MOU with the vocational institutes and said, after training someone in mechanics at the level of a certificate of a diploma, forward that person to train on an equipment like a crane. We again gave them a chance to have internship on our equipments. We have managed at least to skill like 40 operators from this region who are now operating the machines within the four years we've been on ground. If say your son is not directly employed by SBC, but he's studying from a school that we have donated computers to, that son is benefiting. Not directly, but indirectly doing what? Benefiting. In the area of education, we have renovated about three schools, Chigaga Primary School, Kabari Public School, and Nyamasoga Primary School. So far, two of the schools have been equipped with a computer laboratory. By 2019, we gave 25 computer units to Kabari Public School. It had a population of around 350 pupils. But within a year, the population had tripled. And by the setting in of COVID, there were over 1,200 pupils in the school. And it emerged the first best performing government school in the whole of Hoima district. Another year we gave to Chigaga Primary School. This year we are giving to Nyamasoga Primary School. We are giving scholastic materials. We are giving them water for hygiene. We have equipped the three health centers surrounding us. Kabari Health Center, Seruka Health Center, and Wambabia Health Center with beds and beddings and other uh, health equipment. Here we are looking at infrax management. When we came here, we, we came, say we have been like 800 workers, but we have like more than 2,000 who are following us. They are doing petty business with us, some are our wives and children. So the population here must have tripled. We do the counseling and testing. We have equipped one of the health centers with a brand new ambulance. Then if I go to part of the environment, with the guidance of the district agriculture officer, in the planting season, we, we give out to seedlings. In the dry season, a jet can of water would even cost like 1,000 plus. But since we came, we tried to fight that one. We have so far 13 boreholes in the communities surrounding us. Though we go deep, 90 meters and above, to get water, 11 of them delivered already working. The two of them, we are commissioning them within a week's time because they are already constructed. So the problem of water is now partly solved. So we have also put two water bowsers that distribute water in the communities because this is where some of our workers stay. I want to assure you that the community has benefited and this is how we managed to bring them on board to own the project through our corporate social responsibility because we know we could not employ all of them.